Good morning. What you got there, Miss Bell? Hey, Cuckoo La Chaise. Good morning. Um, your bag is swelling up, Miss B. Miss B? Miss Mama, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Princess. Wait, nuh uh, you are the Dairy Queen. Good morning. Let's eat. I am so excited. I am in my pajamas. <laughs> 7 a.m. I've been up for about an hour doing laundry, answering emails, and I thought, well, before I jump in the shower, before we get out in this super wet grass and start working and all of these things, I'm just going to run out here and just kind of scan over, the sun's up, make sure everybody's okay. Look what that udder is starting to do. I came out late last night about 10.30, and I had our super duper flashlight, and I was kind of panning over and I noticed it wasn't filling out but the top of it was not near as like an envelope down and then bubbling up like little bowling balls anymore I thought am I crazy and I thought I don't want to have wishful thinking because we are actually technically a day past her due date if you go by the gestation table by the last date that she could have been bred which was November the 6th and you go the what 283 and a half 284 days or whatever it is and you come to the end of it that was yesterday the 15th and in my mind I know that we can go another 10 days two weeks I know this you know this remember when you were having babies and you were like come on <laughs> so it's I would be doing an MC hammer dance right now if I could put this phone down and not slide around in my pajamas. But, all right, we're in business, people. We are in business. All right, I gotta get inside, get the kids going. I mean, it could still be a couple of days. I get it, I get it. But seeing that, folks, and there could still be things that happen, I know, praise, well, please Lord. Praise the Lord and please Lord, but I have been super stressed about this animal because we love her to death and things can go wrong and you know they still could I get it but you know this has just been crazy when you put the girl with a bull for six weeks I never really thought <laughs> I didn't think we'd go like this but we'll take what we can get amen all right let's get the morning going you are not gonna believe this. I can't make this up if I tried. My first initial filming was around seven o'clock. I already have it. Went inside, did more laundry, unloaded the dishwasher, got the kids up, we're eating breakfast, we're doing all this stuff. And old Fred pulled up and brought me a bunch of grapes and cantaloupes. They're sitting right over there. You can see him sitting on the bench. And he wanted to see, um, I'm shaking so much y'all. I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> and I see it. Okay. Thank you, Lord. So we came over to the fence. He said, I, I, I saw you running this morning. I said, you should see her utter. He said, oh, I can see it from here. And we walked over and I said, Fred, am I crazy? And he was like, well, that's questionable. <laughs> I said, look down in there in that shed. Do you see a baby goat? And he said, I, I, and he put his hand up because the sun was in his face. We have triplets down there. I'm going now. Triplets. Bubba, in the past less than two hours, went from zero to 60 and has delivered triplets. I cannot believe this. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Look at this. Okay. Already trying to nurse. Oh, my word. Okay, Nicholas, I need you. Hi, baby. Hello. Hi, baby. Look. Hello. Bubba, you are mother of the year. You could get the same trophy, Miss Bell. Just hang tight. We're moving the babies into the shed. It's already trying to nurse. It's trying to find her. What we're going to do is um, pack in fresh straw and get everything set up in this shed and uh, get her set up in here so that we don't have an accident with Miss Bell. Miss Bell's trying to sniff them out. Watch out now. Isn't it cute, Miss Bell? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Guys, I'm going to try to film as much as possible. 
But right now, the um, important thing is to get everybody situated, calm, nursing, and then we will dip the umbilical cord. Oh, here comes Mama. So we got to get everything set up. Mm -hmm. We Oh, we're going pee-pee. That's good. Go pee-pee, baby. Go pee-pee. <laughs> All right, let's move this baby. Hello. Hello, you want Mama? <laughs> Okay, so far, all babies are up on their own. All babies have nursed some colostrum. Mama has passed what looks to be most of the afterbirth. We got a little bit still hanging there, but the, everything came out. Mama meaning Mama Bubba. So we're doing good. Belle's not leaving. She's in the shade number one, but number two, she's very curious about what's going on and has been super gentle, but I have closed us in. Well, I guess my day of canning has been postponed because we're going to be very preoccupied with this. So, I'm going to look again, and I may be wrong, so that's okay. It's the first time I've dealt with goat kids, believe it or not. I know, my journey started out originally doing this four years ago, and it changed to that big creature over there. But if I'm, I may be wrong. I haven't fully investigated, and I will when I dip the umbilical cords, but... I'm getting the impression we may have three does. Three does. We will find out. Room for error. error. Room for error is always expected and welcomed on this homestead. But they're eating and they're resting. And Mama is cleaning them up and doing everything she needs to be doing. She's a good girl. All right, we'll check back with you here in a little bit. What a blessed day. <laughs> You did good, Mama. You did good. <laughs> <laughs>